Um, Mount Carmel Fire Department and Hawkins County Municipal is starting a joint venture to run uh, get more emergency personnel into the field in the city of Mount Carmel um, and to also increase our cardiac arrest response um, team members and increase our uh, decrease our times. Okay. So how are you going to do that? Mount Carmel is starting a first responder program. We'll be operating Monday through Friday from eight to five. Uh, they'll have uh, state certified personnel on the unit to respond to any medical emergency in the city of Mount Carmel. Okay. The cardiac arrest program will begin also Monday, March 1st. Uh, what that'll do will be a simultaneous dispatch between EMS, fire departments, and the Mount Carmel Police Department will also be notified of any cardiac arrest inside the city. Uh, that will increase the amount of AEDs being dispatched to the scene, the personnel being dispatched mm -hmm. to the scene. And then just initial outcome, you know, increase the survival rates. Okay. Well, for, for the layman who doesn't understand how you guys operate, what, how does that differ from what is the, the current procedure? What we initially done was, uh, like, say it's an emergency medical call. Mm -hmm. EMS would be dispatched initially, and then once we arrived on scene, if we needed help, we would have to holler and page out the fire department to respond to assistance. Uh huh. Uh, what this will do now is they'll be paged out with us and responding along with them. Okay. And if the Mount Carmel unit is on another call, you know, uh, the Churchill unit may be responding to Mount Carmel. This will put the first response to arrive on scene faster. Okay. So uh, <clears throat> basically, whoever gets there first is it's going to. It's it's just going to supply medically trained personnel faster to the yeah. public. Okay. And Dr. Tussman, uh what's your role in this in this partnership? Yeah, uh, I currently serve as a medical director for Hawkins County EMS, and I oversee protocols uh, that we uh, have for all our medical activities through the EMS system, and uh, and uh, I answer any questions and serve as a, a backup for any any emergency or any any assistance or advice I can provide to the Hawkins County EMS as medical director. So you gave your seal of approval to this program? Yeah, it's, it's going to be a great uh, initiative. It's going to get more uh, resources, personnel to to the uh, scene of anybody who's in dis medical distress. And as everybody knows, uh, seconds count in a heart attack. And if somebody is uh, in a cardiac arrest or a cardiac situation, we can get uh, defibrillation done quicker and save lives. And so it's going to be a very positive thing uh, to help the citizens in the area. Okay, and Chief, so just talk about your end, what, what the, how that changes things on your end. Uh, uh, with my end, it doesn't really change a whole lot. We're already employing a day shift here from eight to five o'clock, Monday through Friday. All that's gonna do is, well, my staff that I have here during that time are all state certified, either EMTs, paramedics, or first responders. Mm -hmm. So what they will do is we'll just be using those medical skills now along with their fire and emergency services skills. Okay. So are you guys going to have like a an ambulance type truck or a first responder type we're, truck? We're, we're going to use what our small truck that is sitting in the bay right now, it's 1802, as our first response truck. Uh -huh. We'll be carrying all of our medical bags on it. Oh, okay. All right. So basically, this is, you're sending, you're able to send two di different, dispatch two different groups to the scene and, and uh, whoever's closest gets there and is able to get the, get the, uh, treatment to the patient fast. We're looking to administer care as soon as possible. Okay. So, uh, was, was there, a, is there a reason why you guys decided to make this decision now? Uh, a program like this has been looked at for, for several years yeah. on uh, an attempt to increase response time to the citizens of Hawkins County. Um, it's always important to try to reduce any delays in patient care as much as possible. So this is this program has been worked on for for several years now, and it, it's finally been able to be approved and move forward and initiate the program. Okay. All right. So starting Monday then. Yes. Sir. And uh, what are the hours again that you guys are doing this? Is this eight 20, to five. Eight to five. Okay. So what what happens between uh, five and eight uh, the, on the other? Other on end. the back side of it. Yeah. We'll still be responding as a uh, code response. Mm -hmm. So if Hawkins County EMS receives a cardiac arrest, respiratory uh, arrest, and what's the third? Choking. And a choking call, 
then I, my department will then be dispatched. The volunteers will be dispatched okay. to the scene to assist. All my volunteers are certified uh, in CPR and AED. Okay. And that's a 24-hour service? That's 24 hours a day. Okay. I'm hoping this program is uh, very successful to show uh, other parts of the county the importance of a program like this and in hopes that we can uh, do another program similar to this throughout the whole county. Okay. Like, what would this be ideal for? Other municipalities or like other volunteer departments? There's all kinds of different options of how yeah. it could be approached. Um, it could be either municipalities or it could be uh, done by Hawkins County EMS or through the county.